Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and today we're going to talk about Total War. Not so much Warhammer, but there will be a little bit of it here. The main focus today is actually around potential historical games, as it's very likely that we're going to get a Total War historical game some point this year. This could either be a full title or a saga, but there is definitely something coming because, well, we know already that Creative Assembly have two unannounced projects. One of them involves Unreal Engine 5 for some reason, which, yeah, it's kind of confusing, but I'm assuming that this is not Hyenas because it's for an unannounced project. So, yeah, maybe it's... Uh, Spartan Total Warrior 2, for all we know. All Creative Assembly are continuing with their midlife crisis and have decided to use Unreal Engine 5 to make dating simulators. Who knows? But another project definitely has to be another Total War game, as we already know the main team was moved on to another project after Warhammer 3 was released in... Um, a very sorry state, let's just say that. We know that because the DLC team has taken over and has been fixing up the game ever since, with constant patches, some content drops, and obviously we've had some DLC, uh, Immortal Empires, just in general, everything's been getting better as time has been progressing. But we know the average for Creative Assembly releases is about a game a year. This was actually thrown off a little bit due to the world stopping, and uh, yeah, Warhammer 3 got delayed. It was actually supposed to be released in 2021, but got released in 2022. So it can be assumed that whatever pre-alpha team was working on the next game is probably very far along, and in the past year or so, considering that they've had help now from the main team, they've mostly gotten close to release at this point. Now that's not to say that we should expect it now, because, well, we know that we're waiting for a DLC for Warhammer 3 in April, so it's likely that we might see something a little bit after, maybe in May, June, or July. As we know for Warhammer 3, we're getting three different DLC drops. This is going to be sometime in April, then obviously in summer, and lastly in winter. This was already confirmed that they've got that plan. It's not confirmed that we're getting those DLCs just yet, just that they've got the plan to release free DLCs. So somewhere between that, a new game will drop. And uh, yeah, there's a few things to talk about. Firstly, the supposed setting, which there's loads of people asking for this, that, and the other. What people mainly want is a return to historical games. Hell, even I want that too, as it's been a while, and to be honest, you know, that was the foundation for Total War. It would be great to see a historical game again. What we do know is that there is development going on for A3 Kingdoms 2. Uh, no idea what that is. Hell, I think it's been, what, two years since they decided to take it back to the shed and shoot it? So it could be possible that that game could be next, but I very much doubt it, as they're probably realizing that a lot of people aren't really into the idea of it, mostly because, yeah, they didn't finish the first game. Hell, we didn't even have a Free Kingdom setting in Free Kingdoms, which, uh, uh, yeah, kind of weird. And you'd expect after so much silence, they would have done at least a, you know, this is what we're working on type of thing, which they stopped that type of blog for a long time, but it would have been nice to at least know what's going on. They stopped it because people were getting angry, and that's mostly because they weren't actually doing a what the teams are working on, they were just doing a hey, something's happening, but we can't tell you what, we can't even give you a hint. Now, obviously there are rumours about two other games which many people have been asking for, the first one being Medieval 3, and that's the one that I would be most interested in, because I prefer sword and board combat, it's just kind of cooler for me, rather than the game that we'll discuss afterwards, but yeah, Medieval 3, it's a long time coming, it's been a while since Medieval 2, and it would be great if we actually finally had a return to Medieval-style gameplay, but it would have to be as good as Medieval 2. Medieval 2 did have its problems, but it was incredibly moddable, which allowed for that game to stay, well, active for a lot longer. A lot of people still play it. I still play it myself too, mostly because of the uh, Warcraft mod and a few other mods there. But imagine if we had Medieval 2, but brought up to today's standard, it would be absolutely awesome. The other game itself is Empire 2. A lot of people have been asking for an Empire-based game, you know, a full world map, because that's something that is possible. We've seen this with Warhammer 3 now. A massive, massive map, loads of gunpowder-based weaponry, naval battles, that was a big thing back there. I feel like Creative Assembly is just scared of doing naval battles, because, yeah, let's be honest, uh, they haven't really done good naval battles 
Fall of the Samurai actually had some decent ones, but even then it was still problematic. But both of those games have been the ones most actively asked for. There are some people asking for a Shogun Free, a Rome Free and stuff, but I believe that Medieval and Empire have been the biggest requests by the community. We do also have to take into account that sagas are a thing, you know, Total War Saga Troy, Fall of the Samurai was basically the first saga, and then lastly we do have a Total War Saga Thrones of Britannia. But I don't know if sagas will continue to be a thing, because is they're not really received very well. Thrones of Britannia was just not good at launch. They did fix it by the end, but I think people just wrote it off and, you know, fair play. You want a game that actually works. Troy was all right, but there was controversy regarding the whole epic exclusivity thing for a year and then them not knowing what to do because uh, originally it released with the truth behind the myth. So it was basically kind of like Three Kingdoms was and then they decided, oh no, we're going to add in a full fantasy setting, but also a historical setting and that means free game modes for a very small team to balance, which... Yeah, did not work out very well. The game ended up being abandoned with a decent amount of DLC, but it was pretty much just like a year and a half into the life cycle of the game, uh, which is a massive shame because they did bring in a lot of really cool mechanics. This is something that I will always praise Troy for. The team behind it, the Sophia team, were very good at creating new mechanics, which made the game quite fun. And it's stuff that I would like to see ported into Warhammer 3 because, uh, yeah, very, very cool mechanics in general. Now, there was a little bit of a hint back in the day when the Rhesus and Memnon DLC came out for Troy, which kind of hinted towards more Egyptian stuff. We kind of got it with Memnon anyway. But, you know, they started hinting towards stuff which we thought maybe the next Total War Saga was going to be based on Egypt. Unless a radical map update came into Troy, but it didn't really feel like that was even going to happen. So, yeah, maybe that could have been worked on, but I have a feeling that that could have been scrapped. As it's been very, very quiet regarding anything with Sophia, which is just very odd. We did see a little bit of a thing back in the day where uh, they were actively recruiting people that knew about Warhammer stuff, so it's possible that they could be working on some Warhammer DLC. They did say at some point that there were two teams working on Warhammer DLC for more DLC for faster, uh, yet that's yet to be proven, but uh, hey, you never know. So any of these settings could work. I'm really hoping it's medieval free, but we'll have to wait and see. But if we follow how Creative Assembly does content releases, you know, for a new game, this is what could happen relatively soon. Shortly after whatever new DLC for Warhammer 3 is, you'll see an announcement trailer, which would be, you know, a full CGI thing, all the usual stuff that they do for a new game. After that, you'd see the usual, right? This is a battle reveal, usually just showing off how battles would work in said game. This has been the usual thing since, I believe, Attila, but I might not be 100% correct there. At least that's everything coming to mind. I've only done two game launches uh, with Creative Assembly myself as a content creator, uh, which was Troy and Warhammer 3. And it was the same way where, yeah, battles were shown off, then radio silence for a bit, something else would come in so I guess another Warhammer 3 DLC and then after that it would go straight into the um, actual release of the game so that's when you start seeing all the pre-release content all the campaign stuff all the usual stuff there and then the game releases so if I were to make an educated guess I'd say that we'd probably see an announcement in May or June and then a proper release around September October yeah, that kind of makes sense. I think that would be in line with pretty much how most of their releases go. Now, there is something else that we have to take into account. The fact is that um, Feral Interactive, this is a company that mostly does the uh, game ports uh, for Mac and obviously for phone and iPad and stuff like that. They've recently ported Med2 to mobile and iPad and all that usual stuff. So it's very likely that they've also been working on a Med2 remastered because that's basically what happened with Rome Total War, which means that, yeah, it's very likely they've done the work already and there's a Med2 remastered waiting at some point, which would kind of go with a faster release time. That's usually how it went with Rome, I think. But yeah, if that's the case, if we do get a Med 2 Remastered, it's safe to say that we won't get Medieval 3 just yet, and it will likely be Empire 2. But that's just one of my assumptions here. 